reaction to um I am Dila she ain't no damn king, I can tell you that for sure. And she certainly ain't no queen. She a goddamn fool. Let me let's let's put <laughs> Let's just speak a little more because I have been having I have gotten into it with her. You know. So, you know, well Calvin, no well, no no no. I don't I'm trying to help I'm trying to help um, a lot of you modern heifers. I'm trying to help you get out your own damn way. And don't get don't come at me with well what about what you men what are you men doing? Stop. Stop. Just stop. I hate when y'all women when I hate when you have women out here. Women who, I'm speaking about women who do this. Every time we criticize, critique your behavior, or we point a flaw out that's problematic for you, yourself, and your children, if you got children, that could be problematic for your relationship. That can be very toxic and fuck up your relationship and what you may, especially if you got a, a, a great man. Every time we point something out, you want to talk about what are you men doing? Shut the fuck up with that bullshit. It's so, it's so, it's like that's the, that's your favorite the fucking deflection. And I'm trying not to go off on no tangent. It's one thing I will say. One thing, if you ask me, when you ask me, one thing that I can say for men is that when men are criticized, men are critiqued, we can't say, well, what about what you women are saying? Well, what about the women? You know that dude gets shut down? Even with for men who are in men's advocate spaces, every time we criticize our certain things and help them be the better versions of themselves and help them become better men, you will never hear. You rarely hear a man say, "Well, what about the women? What are the women is and ain't doing?" Because we don't give a damn. We like this. If we get our stuff right, we put a, get, be a better version, better versions of ourselves. Oh, we can have, we get we get better outcomes. As far as the gnocracy and all that stuff, to me, if when men come together and get in our square and we burn this shit down, our oh, women will change for sure. So that's how we look at it. But let me play this half of this video. Woke up to some stupid. You say that as if men forced you into providers' roles, like women didn't ask for the shit. So let me get this straight. You feel like women asked to be. No, 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 no. We don't feel. We don't. I'll even say we don't think. We know. We know for a fact that you have us a dumb. Y'all make bad decisions and then blame everybody else. You take you. It's your you, lady. And I'm being respectful. But I'm saying this. Lady, you are in control of your destiny. What we're trying, what people are trying to say, you you want choice, right? Okay, you are in control. You are you have more power than you care to admit. Y'all want to be disingenuous like you have no power and you're weak and defenseless and you're a dance on the shit. You're not, not no first world country. <laughs> Providers. Wrong. Now I know women ask for equality, the ability to work to be providers. What's with the provider and what? Everything, and it's not, because my thing is, I get so sick tired of people just throwing out money and materialism. That's not a provider. I want you to go on your Webster's Dictionary and look up the word provider and look where it came from. Do, you, do work. Stop using words. Don't go by what I think I know. Look up the original root of the definition and do research on that word then you actually think about it the next time you come out your mouth. Start, start, learn how to use words in their proper context. Wrong. Now, I know women ask for equality, the ability to work, want money for themselves because they're... Wait, 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 wait. No. See, see that old feminism? You, y'all don't want equality. You don't want equal responsibility. You want a power and actually, more, actually have to be in the... To actually be in a powerful position as the men that you like, and actually the men that you really can't stand either, you want to be in a powerful position uh, as a man, but don't want to deal with the responsibilities, the self discipline, the critical thinking. You don't want to deal with those responsibilities. You just want to boss people around and just run shit, 
But when stuff goes bad, then you all of a sudden I'm a woman. Then then it's, a, it's not my fault. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. We ain't we ain't stupid. The ability to work, want money for themselves because there were a lot. What do you mean want money for yourself? <laughs> but you want men to have more than you. My thing is, but but then you want to take your money and my money and spend on uh, spend on some thug ass nigga. You want to deal with some Pookie and Ray Ray and bottom shelf Brad, then you want to spend trick off your homegirls and shit, trying to just try to act like you 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 came up. You didn't come up. You just a high pergamous hoe, a whole pergamous. I know women ask for equality, the ability to work, want money for themselves. Be a narcissistic narcissistic hoe ass bitch. And my thing is, she don't do no research. She he, she obviously didn't do no research because that means that means she would have to you know. Re, re, reevaluate her life when she re, she refuses to not to be providers. Wrong. Now I know women ask for equality, the ability to work, want money for themselves because there were a lot of women that were getting their ass beat for asking for anything back in. The no, 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 bitch, no, bitch, no. I see the problem is you have is got a lot. You got too much. You got freedom. You got way too many right, rights. Way too much mouth, freedom of speech, and nobody challenges your your dumb ass. You should speak it off emotion. I'm sorry. It takes two to fight. It take when it comes to domestic violence. It takes two. I I look at all sides. And no no no. It's not. I'm so sick and tired of women getting to be able to tell their side. And so, and you all and society just takes your side because we've been conditioned to see y'all as weak vessels. Y'all know how can you be a weaker vessel? But y'all do so much damage to the world. Look at Adam. You can look at the whole Adam. I don't look. I don't fuck with church. I don't do Christianity. Even though I, my family grew up like that, I don't. I decolonized my mind from that shit. I can't fuck with Christianity because there's way too many hypocrisies and a lot of misandry. There was a lot of misogyny that they called out, but there's a lot of misandry and a lot of race black misandry among, and anti-blackness in Christianity. That's why I was like, I removed myself from that. Well, what does that got to It has everything to do with what I'm, talk, what I'm talking about. Just because you're slow, it's not my problem. My thing is, I'm pretty sure these women were hitting men first, being verbally abusive, and getting in a man's face, even when the man tried to walk away from her crazy ass. Whoa, 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 maybe he provoked her. Oh, oh, oh. you know what? I can so see. So wait, wait a minute. So even if the man was antagonizing her, you mean to tell me that she don't have self control? Just walk, to just keep her mouth closed, and just be intelligent and just, 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 just be. If he called you a bitch, it's not. I know it's disrespectful, but it's not the end of the world, baby. Okay, he called you out your name. Are you that? Are you a bitch? If the answer is no, then let him. Then, then let him talk his shit and walk the fuck away. But no, you women can't do that. You always got to have the last word. I'm speaking about women who actually engage in this type of behavior. You always got to have the last word. You always got to use the side language. This is what this half is going to do. I already know what she's going to do. Shame, insults, guilt, the need to, the need to be right. She's always got to be right. You can't tell her. You can't tell her nothing. You're not a victim, baby girl. You're not. Stop. You, you got women who are abusive to men Especially in the black community, then y'all want to then you want to call nine one one like the black female Karen and say he did this to me, but yet you want to talk about the Innocence Project and then you want to talk about Emmett Till and his family deserves justice. You know white women be lying on black men, but you got black women lying on black men all the time and they don't get called out in the black community, especially by the pro wax. Oh y'all want to have excuse because of the because of what, what black women went through as a child. Everybody had a bad fucking childhood, bitch. Get up, get over it. Get therapy. Gift counseling. Nobody got to deal with your shit because you had a, a humble beginning because you had rough times. We all had rough times. Times in which they couldn't work. But for you to feel like... That's bullshit because women did work. Black women certainly still asking work. Asking for so any... Black women still work. Women still work. Women had, They worked in moral jobs of teaching and nursing and health care and shit. Women had jobs. But my thing is... You have some women who say, well, why should I work hard when I got a man who's making six figures? <laughs> My thing, whatever happened to teamwork, why, why don't you just work with the man within the home 
and y'all make money and y'all create wealth and generational wealth together. Oh, but see, we don't want to have that conversation. Thing back in the times in which they couldn't work. But for you to feel like women asked to be providers, no. And then don't get it twisted because there are women that are providing like myself, but we're providing what? Dysfunction? Don't know when to shut the fuck up? That's why you don't have a man. Ba baby girl, you got free kids by three different niggas. Free by Pookies and Ray Rays. And then you want a top tier man. She's going to say and swear, you know, Calvin, you know, I'm humble because I actually have had a conversation with her. You know, I'm not going to say, you know, when she was a when she was a guest on, you know, I'm not going to mention his name. But when she was on, I was on StreamYard and about to be a guest on this particular YouTuber show. Y'all know him. So she was a guest on on, on the show. I was, it was not a panel show, but in the stream yard, I was waiting for my turn. We had a conversation. So hmm, not going to go into that, but we had a conversation and I'm like, you know, and I was trying to just have an open, trying to just trying to be just trying to have an objective mind and be open, give her the benefit of doubt. Baby, you are free four. That's how you got them free kids. And my thing is now you can't use Roe versus Wade. <laughs> you were you were you were reckless with your hot half a, your your hot bitch summers. That's why you're in the situation that you're in. Okay, and you 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 dealing with the burden that don't mean you make you accountable because what made, what to me what made you what made you accountable if actually if you actually would have took one of those men and made them your husband and say you know what I, let's make things right. But see she got she's one of them masculine heifers. She always got to have power. She always got to have the last word, and she always got to use shame, insults, guilt, and need, need to be right. Found upon. So it isn't like, okay, if us as women are providers, a man is going to feel like, well, since she's got that part handled, let me come in and supplement what's missing. No, they still want to be a provider, even if they're not providers. So if you provide more than them, it just actually makes their ego make them feel worse and dog you out for being what they're not. And here's the thing. The only reason I'm playing this part is because I have a, you know, no, I just want to do a couple of reactions from this. Um, um, from she is really a fool. Because I can't take you, you can you will not be taken seriously by the way you conduct yourself. I'm so sick and tired of women saying, you know, I can act however I want to act. I can say whatever the fuck I want. I can dress how I want to dress. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have to be ladylike, and I should still be respected as a woman and be treated like a lady. Uh, Ma'am, you are delusional as fuck. I mean, I don't know. What, what's, the, what's that stuff you're taking? Because I need that. I, I wish I could just be delusional. Because me as a man, I understand. And my, my, uh, and my, my, my parents and you know, family would say, even when I was talking about, you know, she got to take me who, who the fuck I am. Here's the thing. When I said that, I wanted to be left the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? I understood when I said that, that there's people who are not going to accept me for who the fuck I am. And I accepted that. I accepted that fact. But a lot, of, a lot of these women can't. See, that's one thing. When men say that stuff, it, mean, it holds water. Because we understand that, hey, she don't have to fuck with me. Especially if she fine as fuck at under, under, like, under the age of 26. 20, uh, she's 20, under the age of 26. Under the age of 30. I mean, you know, under the age of, especially under the age of 26. Yeah, wait, wait, why? she don't have to entertain me. She got dudes. She got dudes coming out of her way. Now, in theory, in theory, you know what I'm saying? She she can she got a lot to choose from. So why does she want to deal with somebody who got got issues and stuff like that? And I don't blame her. If she don't want to fuck with me. See, I, I took I, I took that. See, I took I took I took I took I took that on the chin. But you know, I had to make myself better. But see, she got a bunch of excuses as the fucking narcissist that she is. And this, this is just so ratchet. It's just too damn ratchet. She's too ratchet for me. Out on 
losing your shit. So, ladies, I just want to let y'all know, you can really learn a man's true colors early if you let him know early on the things he's not doing and you don't like them. Because he'll... What are you not doing, Dela? Dela? Dela, whatever the fuck your name is. What the fuck are you not doing? You, and, and, and that's the problem with a lot of you modern bitches. And I don't care. Okay, because my thing is, my better, my video better not get taken down because if that if it does you prove my point it better you better it better stay up because if if it does get taken down by you and one of your followers you prove my point that you a weak ass bitch you can't handle the truth and you can't handle reality and facts now my thing in a respectful way if you disagree with what I'm saying you saying Calvin you're dead ass wrong no you at fault come with me with facts not emotions, not emotion and feelings. No, come at me with substance, facts, concrete facts. No, this is why I don't. As an adult, man or woman, adults, this is where I. This is where you're wrong at. This no, this is not how it is. This is what. Let me tell you one of my experiences. Of, let me ask why you feel that. If you come at me with that, I will. I, I will honor it. <laughs> you know real quick who the fuck he is by not changing the things he's doing and then instead why has he got to change for you bitch why should he change for you why don't you change for him that's the natural order of things why is it that you act like y'all don't do nothing wrong and y'all so perfect and everything is is gravy peaches and cream y'all so perfect but you by yourself and you got three kids by three different men and these men did not claim you did not take you as your wife. And your reason is because they were dusty and stuff. So what does that say about you? If they're dusty and unproductive and toxic and, and all the stuff that you're complaining about, why would you lay up for them and have a baby by them? Don't tell me you didn't know. I mean, I got, look, look, we all, you know, under, under you know, when we were in our, and you in your teen, in teens, your late teens and 20s, Okay, I can give you. Okay, not all of us got the. Pro, no, uh, we all didn't get proper guidance. Let's keep it real. We didn't get the education that we needed to go out here in the world, especially when it comes to seeking a mate. We all didn't date with intentions. This guys actually did date with intentions, but they found out that it it, was, it, didn't, it didn't mean nothing to you women, because y'all was some other on some other bullshit. But I'm not gonna go into that. Thing like oh dang she doesn't like this let me work on it because when they don't like it they're sure gonna want you to work on it instead did you work on it though that's the question oh let me oh I, let me answer for her absolutely not that's why she's still single they're gonna talk to you as if something's wrong with you leave them the fuck alone oh so you don't compromise you're not willing to change you're not open to change change for what change for what I, I, no, I'm no, no, no. My thing is, be direct with me. Change for what? The, what? I bet you, I bet you money. And I'll even, I'll even walk walk, walk outside, butt ass naked. That she didn't try to change a motherfucking thing about herself to better to, to get better outcomes. And her, because some of these women's logic is that. I will never change for no man, especially for a nigga. But you would change for your white boss. If your white boss says, if your white boss told you, especially your white male boss told you, hey, Dela, hey, I don't, this is what you need to work on. And he was rude to you about it, criticized you. You would say, you know what? Okay, there would be no conditional femininity. You know what? I got to do what I got to do. She would change for a white boss. And white folk, white approval, because black people are some are, are coons because they worship white supremacy. They love the caves. They love laying in the caves, especially black women. Black women love worshiping white. Black black women crave white acceptance. I'm not saying black men don't, but black women is, is and they get to play both sides of the fence of pro blackness and white worship. Being a ghetto gag and hoe. How many black men can get away with that shit? Oh, I forgot. Not really. None. Criticism. Constructive. You need to see that bullshit well before you spread your legs. If he ain't willing to work on small things that you are seeing in the beginning, he not willing to change ever. Se what, what are the small things? You, you, she don't, she don't even go in specific. What are your do's and don'ts? And here's the thing. You don't get to raise your standards after a failed relationship. 
My thing is you need to check yourself and slap yourself with a goddamn face and look at your look at your flaws and why are you attracting the dudes that are problematic? You need to look at yourself and improve um, yourself and, and ask these men of how, who are better, who are better than you. What do I gotta do to change? But see, that's see, that's just, just that's too much of right. Because me as a man, if, a, if, a, if I'm with a woman I truly care about, and I really care about her, and she's, I see her as a woman I would love to, to grow old with and spend the rest of my life with. Real talk, and even if I have more than one wife, hold on, don't don't get upset at me now. If you're saying my thing is, if I really want, I would come to her and say, what do, what do I need to work on? And this is that I have no problem. I'm not on no ego shit. I, and she said, what do I got to do to be a better man for myself and you? What do I need to work on? And and you know, and, and you know what I'm saying. What do I need to work on so? So we can have a, a better outcome in life, better a better relationship to improve our relationship. What needs to be done? I have no problem changing. But you women, y'all 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 can't do no wrong. Well, Calvin, you you you. This is what this this is what they're gonna do, guys. Calvin, maybe you need to look in the mirror, maybe, because maybe it's a, maybe it's your energy. Fuck out of here. I'm not saying that's not true. But this is a that's a deflection tag. Well, maybe it's the type of woman that you need to maybe because you keep going running into these crazy ass women. Maybe it's you, Calvin. Bitch, shut the fuck up. The majority of you women are crazy. And the so-called good girls, they they they're they're, they're called that y'all call pick me's. <coughs> they are the chances are they already have somebody you know, or if they're really looking with intention. It's gonna be hard because you're gonna to try to ruin them, try to try to convert them to be free or four is just like you. You're gonna put, put, put indoctrinate them with them toxic feminist bullshit. That's I seen y'all try to how y'all ruin these good girls with your bad advice. Because you don't want her to win, especially she younger than you, a decade younger than you. <laughs> because she you see her as competition. Let's keep it real. Give yourself! I don't find nothing fucking wrong with that. So if I'm letting you know in the beginning, I'm huge on open communication and you go nine hours without talking to me. And in the nine hours, I've sent regular texts. And in the nine hours, when girl, Hatha, he don't want you. He don't want you. He don't want you like that. You a smash. Get over yourself. You finally decide to respond. You ignored everything I sent you in the nine hours and just hit me with what you doing and you didn't acknowledge none of that shit that lets me know right there. Oh, damn, you don't give a fuck about what I was talking about. For, and and you're not going to make me... Look at you. Look at you. Who would take you seriously? No disrespect. And I'm saying this out of love. Why would he take you seriously, baby girl? I can't even... All, all that... All that, all that no, there's no feminine energy. Are you feminine? Are you feminine? Are you compliant? Are you a self-respecting lady? Are you lady? Are you a lady with feminine energy? Are you feminine, friendly, compliant, cooperative, sweet, docile? Or do you have conservative values about you? That means I don't want to see, you know, you be a goddamn public stripper. Do you have those qualities? Are you affectionate, nurturing? <laughs> That's the question. Can you cook? I mean, I mean I'm just, you know, I'm kind of, uh, but you know, but I'm talking, speaking about person, the, 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 our character. Just something, no, you a, you a trick. You a hoe. You a 304, baby. Admit that. Work on yourself. But, and your thing is, she's younger than me. She's like 34 years old, baby girl. You got work. To, you, 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 you. <laughs> well, Calvin, what about you? Uh, don't, do not do that. We don't do that. She, you got to check yourself. Feel bad because I've talked to people that in that nine hours came back like, hey, my bad, and then addressed my messages. So this is why when I talk to you, I can't handle how you handle me because I've been handled the way I like before. It's just other departments. You ever been handled the way you like in a few departments, but not handled in others? Then you're what the fuck she's talking about? So basically, you like to be lied to. You like to be coddled. 
you like to have your ego stroked. So as long as he's lying to you and stroking your ego and pandering to you and being a, a simp, he cannot, he don't have to be obligated to his other, to his main responsibility as a man. But as long as he's being bitch made and kissing your ass and telling you what you want to hear and stroking your ego, then you want to watch these women are where they are. A nigga be like, well, if he was so good, why he didn't stay with him? It's because I had 10 departments. He performed well in three. The other seven oh. is what made me leave him alone. What, te- what department? What the fuck you talking? You don't have no department store dealer. Half a. You don't have no goddamn 10 departments. What the what the part that you do? You don't have no business. You ain't got no business. What what you do? What you own a Macy's? Do you own a JC Penny? Where's it at? What departments you talking about? These women, I swear to God, and I'm sure she could. I could. I could. I could. I could do it, guys. I could not be. Uh, 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 I could not. If a woman would book a session with me, and I'd be a coach, and I'd be a count, or I'd be our counselor. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to do it. I would I be I I I couldn't take I couldn't take it. You wonder why a lot of um, dating coaches don't want to work with women, especially black women. Especially you wonder why you had a, you, many black women, even though most of the shadiest one like April Mason, that that bitch April Mason, these um, so called dating experts, relationship experts, don't want to work with women. These matchmakers that don't want to work with women, especially black women. Look at look at um, and the thing is. Well, it's because of racism and you're, we're being stereotyped. Bitch, you do it to your damn self. Take accountability. Get the fuck out of here with that. But now I'm dealing with you and the three departments he performed well in, you don't perform well in. And the What departments do you perform well in for a man? What departments do you perform well with in a man, Heffa? Shut the fuck up. Other seven. This is why I'm not talking to you. So let them tell it. I'll be happy that you stopped talking to me. I should have stayed with three department. No, I'm looking for somebody to fulfill all ten. Of- now she told me she got nice feet. I don't even know if I would if I would want to go for the trouble, you know, to suck on them because I mean they kind of they look good, but goddamn, I rather I rather not entertain that offer. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that's this is good looking feminine about her is her feet. She keep her feet. Up. Some of these chicks, you know, I'll be surprised. Some of these chicks that you don't expect to have pretty feet got the prettiest feet. But that that mouth and that attitude, it's like, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. The fucking departments. Or at least nine. Mm? Cause I- no. Well, what about... What, what, I, I, the way she got a filthy mouth, too. As much as I like head, I'm good. I'd rather go to the, do- the Dollar Tree... Get my Vaseline, get that ocean, that oil, that baby oil gel, and go to bed. Look at my favorite homemade, homemade, you know, porn clips, you know, of the women I met in my life, and call it a night. Settle for nine out of the ten, but I'm not gonna settle for none when I left three. How do that make sense? Men will make you feel like, oh, well, you should have stayed with him, but you're worse than him, so I left him alone. You you were you worse than all those men, bitch. You are worse than all them goddamn men. I'm not gonna stay with you, and you're mad about it. I'm not. I'm not. Let him tell it. He's like, wait, well, you don't deserve. No, it's a no. If we're all growing and we're working on ourselves, you was shitty when you was with her. You grew up. Now here you. You you shitty. You a shitty ass bitch all the way. Just stop. Just just stop talking. This is the this is where I actually you know um, I try to actually give the sound advice you know but see you can't tell these broads nothing especially these melanated these American melanated broads nothing these modern melanated broads anything those women who ain't trying to get hurt no more be cutting you off so fast. I'm like, damn, give me a few days to work on it. Cutting off what? <laughs> Delia, Della. How, what, 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 how, what are you cutting off? You a hurt, broken little girl. Get the fuck out of here. 
Well, you, 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 you ain't trying to get hurt no more. Um, you're still getting hurt. And, and, and it's so funny because... It's so funny because by this half of talking this dumb shit, you are getting hurt. You, it's so funny because your girlfriends always hurt you and you forgive them. And that's why, and I, like I said before, and I was actually speaking to another lady. Um, you know, she was on a live stream. I said, I said, I said the thing, and especially in the black community, um, black women keep each other single. They wreck homes, they're home wreckers, they wreck each other's homes because out of jealousy. And she says, you know what, you're right. And, she, and you know what I'm saying? I noticed that a lot of my, even the women before me gave me bad advice because they were yeah they were calling saying don't do this and I knew he was a yeah the, don't talk to this guy and all this other stuff. all of a sudden she with she dating this guy that she wanted to be with saying he was bad news and shit like that it's always stuff like that you black or you know the minute she wrecked her marriage or something like that all of a sudden he tried she trying to call talk to her now ex husband. This is the stuff that these these hyena hood rat bitches do. This you this is and these black women want protection. They want respect. No, and that's why I think these men, women are angry, and that's why they don't like the manosphere. I don't fuck with the manosphere to be honest with you. This is why they don't like red pill content creators who make legitimate real red pill content because and, and men go in their own way. You don't want, you don't like even even. Even even when it came to so the, so the even the, the true force loneliness, the, the bullshit true force loneliness movement that I was a part of, I noticed that a lot of women and a lot of simp ass bit, bitch ass beta males don't like red pill content. Even though the, these these beta simp ass males are men themselves, but see, I forgot those guys got to get the shit together because they can't lay up under no woman. They can't look for a place to stay. And then at the same time, these guys are so bitch brain and simpish, they think women can't do no wrong because they were, they were raised in a matriarchal household, even if the, if the dad was there. She didn't respect him. Men were always a problem. Argument, domestic arguments and stuff. She was always do, doing, doing all the, the hitting, the verbally abusing, the physical abusing, but he couldn't defend himself. So a lot of these guys were indoctrinated to... to, to this says you can't hold women accountable because she she's a woman, which is the most stupidest thing I ever heard. But you got these guys out here. See, see, these since got see a lot of these men are not masculine. They don't have masculine energy. They don't they're not a man's man. They don't know how to navigate situations. They don't know how to become a better man. But they think because like I got money and I look good, that's all that matters. Or I'm just dusty. But because so regardless of the circumstances, these males, especially I don't even if even, even these guys are well to do, the fact that they don't know how to navigate and attract the women that they need and want or attract better quality women, they will pander because they don't know how to get a woman, and that they do, they don't know how to keep her. So they they think by pandering and and you know tricking off her and spending money on her or just lying and being a bump and just being dusty and and pandering to to women. That they're gonna be no, they don't respect you, and then when they kick you out, then you wanna call them all types of bitches and hoes and shit and gold diggers. <laughs> so it's a problem across the board. And one thing about my 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 platform, <laughs> I said what I said. Those women ain't trying to get hurt no more, ma'am. Get the fuck out. Get over yourself. We all been hurt. Tighten, woman up. Get tough. Stop being such a weak ass punk ass bitch. I ain't trying to get hurt no more. Um, you hurt yourself. And, and let me say this. Let me say this. And I was trying to tell her, these women ain't trying to get hurt no more. Be cutting, cutting y'all so fast. Like, damn, give me a few days to work on it. Uh, man, you're, you're going to die alone. Buy, go to Pittsburgh and buy your pets. Buy your, your dog, your cat, your fishes and parrots. Okay? No man can hurt you unless you give him the power to. And let me explain what I mean by this. Because I don't want to make this too long. You women, you, you women give us way too much power. No man can hurt you. I mean, I'm, and it's like even physically, if you don't do dumb shit, don't put yourself in harm's way. Learn self-defense training and stuff. But my thing is, it shouldn't even get to that point. <laughs> See, she don't know how to vet. She, if she was a feminine lady, I know, I know from my, I'll say this, women who are truly feminine and sweet and loving 
don't have these issues. It's always these masculine bitches talking about, I've been hurt, domestic violence and all this stuff. It's always these women who are not in their feminine, that don't have feminine energy, that always have these problems. No man can hurt you unless you give him the power to. Stop putting us on such a pedestal and stop making us like giving us so much power, like so, like this much power over you that we we dictate how you feel. No, you that's your responsibility. That's what I was trying to tell this heifer. No man can hurt you unless you allow him to. Stop making these, stop having these unrealistic expectations. Stop thinking that a man can fix you. You can fix yourself. Stop thinking a man can. He, he's your damn doctor. He's your damn girlfriend. Um, um, he's your daddy. Stop doing that shit. That he's your Superman. No. We're human at the end of the day. That's what I was trying to tell her in a nice way. And I said, it's just the fact of the man. That's why you buy yourself. Because you're making men pay for your past. We're not, I'm not responsible for your trauma and your past hurts and your failures with men. You need to look, look in the mirror and get counsel. Do you know what this heifer told me? And actually, she blocked me. Then on TikTok, told me, well, I got my therapy. No, bitch, you, you got work to do. Even if you're done with therapy, you still got to keep working on yourself. That's not the therapist's job. The therapist's job is to actually counsel you and communicate and actually give you suggestions <clears throat> and show you what you need to work on and actually nurture you along the process. But by that point, you should be able to do it by yourself independently. But she was she another statistic of another bitter black heifer. 